this is what I'm using to make the flaps out of just a piece of uh, I don't know 16 gauge uh, steel and then I'll weld this right onto that and I'm uh, drawing two holes in it so that the chain will fit in there and that way I can mount it on the chain, split the chain and just uh, mount it in, in place there basically what I got right here so I got it I think I'm putting 12, no 24 20 or 24 on there I forget now but uh, I got them spaced um, I believe it's 30 inches it might be 36 inches apart but I figure anyway uh, I could put one in the middle at 18 if I have to. I need them closer. And I also can make them higher, but I figure to try it out that way. Because if, if it goes fast enough, it should push plenty of uh, material through it. I also had to uh, put a guide, which is actually a lamp, a light fixture. Um bracket which works good it funnels it up because it was I tried running it and it, the chain was flopping around too much so hopefully this will help guide these up when they come up and take up any slack it will seem like that should work I did try it a little bit but I won't know until all the blades are on it wash machine motor you can't switch unless you rip it apart completely, which I'm not doing. Well, that one, all I had to do was switch some wires around on the outside. Most fan blower motors are like that, where you can switch the polarity so that they turn the opposite way. An AC, DC motor has no problem doing it, but the AC motor is a little bit different. Something about the way it, it has to start it going in a certain direction, and then it'll make it work to get probably just an idler sprocket to hold this and maybe move it to the middle to keep this from swinging so much but I think it should work pretty good of course you won't know until I get a load on it it's probably going a little bit too quick but there again, I won't know till I get a load of them. When it's swinging, it wants to fall off the sprocket. That's because of that swinging, so I think an idler sprocket will do the trick. So this is a uh, chain splitter. All you need to do is stick the chain there and this pushes the pin. This is actually a bicycle. Of course, it, it is a bicycle chain, the size of it. I'm trying to put this so you can see it. I guess that would be best. I mean, there's other ways of doing this, but this this thing only costs a punch, and a hammer would do it, right size punch. 
but for what this costs, this makes it a lot easier. So I'm, what I'm doing is measuring lengths, about two foot in length, because I divided, measured it out in two foot lengths. Uh, space them apart fairly good. And you know how this thing works is, I mean it's not a real good one, but it works, so uh, I'm pleased with it. I think I got it at Walmart. In the bicycle department. But anyway, just turn that in. And it pushes that pin out. You don't need to go the whole way, but you could if you wanted. You gotta push two of the pins out. You can see the one there, how it pushed it. A little bit tough on the fingers after a while. But it's not that expensive of a tool. So I'm not too worried about it. And that popped right off. Anyhow, making two foot lengths, like I said, I'm saving these parts, I don't know what for. Probably be in my way later. From there, after I break the chain, I'll take it apart. Um, then I put the piece the pieces that I made, which some of them need to be uh, ground a little bit. It's a little rough, but it'll be alright, I think. If not, I will uh, grind it a little bit. I'm trying to put this in here so you can see how this, I'm doing this. Well, this might give somebody else some kind of idea for something else they need. And then these links are just... Uh, links you can buy and these are these aren't bicycle these are uh, 40 no these are 41 these links are 41 uh, and that is a bicycle roller chain um, and so yeah these aren't considered bicycle and I don't know what bikes chains are but this is a 41 roller chain and there the difference with these the 41 is a lot wider chain, wider this way. This way is exactly the same. So this works perfect for me because it gives that little more extra space in there to put this little extra space in there. And anyhow, that link just pops off there. The bike link is similar. This is a bike link here. And as you can see, it's exactly the same dimensions except for the, the depth of it. Like I say, that, that's to my advantage. That's sort of what I wanted. And I gotta make sure I keep these going all the same way. Which that is that. So if everything's clear, this should pass right through. goes 
to this end and this chain, this part will go to this end. And that'll continue then to the next chain. And I'm putting this part on to take up some space, which it's a little bent. And I find that it's pretty adjustable. This one's a little more than the, the other ones, but I'm pretty sure I can get it. There we go. And then all I need to do is put that other part on it. Which I think I already lost. Uh, it's here somewhere. Trying to keep all the little parts in the little tray here. That just don't seem to work all the time. I'll borrow one from another one. Oh, there it is. Until it turns up. And there it is. And that just gets pushed on. Sometimes they go on pretty easy and sometimes Sometimes they don't. And that went on pretty easy. I almost like to put another one in there for space, but I don't think it'll matter. That one link, I don't think it'll be a big deal. So, so that's basically that's basically what I got started. I need uh, two foot apart. I need 14 of them. And then I think the last one will be a little bit close, but so what? It shouldn't matter. And I think that that should be good enough. But we'll see. So I think I got all the bugs out of it. I'm going to do a little bit of tacking some stuff in. Got the motor modded. Oh, it still needs welded. I think I'm going to put it on a hinge right now. It's just got them clamps on it. But it seems to be moving slow enough and it's strong enough. do is test it out but I did grab hold of one of those which is kind of hard to do with holding the camera one of these here and I couldn't hold it back so if one of them scoops pushes a half a shovel or a third it will push more than enough I think but I can gear it up so I think I'm ready once I get everything tacked up for real use. I'm pretty happy with it right now. We'll see how things go though.